as the popular saying goes, The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And what better way to showcase this popular idiom than by playing Dry Cactus Polybridge 3. Released last May 30, Polybridge 3 is the third installment of the Polybridge series that appears to be bigger and way more complex than its predecessors, not just in terms of optics, but on the additional content as well. And today, we're going to be diving headfirst into this engineering mayhem to see what the game is all about. So strap on your safety hat guys because this one is gonna get wobbly. Anyways, before we jump into the nitty gritty, let's have a quick rundown of what we're dealing here. Polybridge 3 is a physics based puzzle game that tests your engineering skills and structural ingenuity in building bridges. Acting as the master designer in charge of building these mega structures, your goal is to help the vehicles cross to the other side by building sturdy bridges. I mean, it's that simple. However, as simple as it sounds, constructing these bridges eventually gets tougher and will require some stroke of technical creativity in the long run. I mean at first, it's just about connecting simple roads while fortifying them using basic support structures. But as you go along, each new level will offer new stuff like you need to build some kind of an improvised drawbridge so that big ships can pass through underneath or construct a makeshift ramp and attempt to make the vehicle fly all the way to the other side. Now if you're unsure with the structural credibility of the bridge that you have built, you can always press the play button to see how it will play out. And if it does collapse, which by the way is more frequent than you would expect, you can always press the reset button to make some tweaks to your bridge. Anyways, bridge construction also comes at a cost, and each level always suggests that you should work around on a certain budget and availability of resources. Now, this condition only applies to those who are extremely competitive and want to finish a certain level by spending the lowest amount of money and resources as possible. But if you're just a casual gamer who just wants to be a wannabe engineer and you know, fiddle around, you can simply neglect this one and just keep on putting whatever you want until your bridge becomes stable and sturdy. And in case you get stuck in a certain level, you can always pull out hints for free and once you activate it, you can just simply follow the blueprint laid out in front of you. For its current price of $17.99 at Steam, I can pretty much say that this one is worth buying especially to those who are into this kind of genre or for those physics enthusiasts who just want to test out their puzzle solving skills. With more than 150 levels available, you'll definitely not get bored on this one. And what I like most about Polybridge 3 is that you can still advance no matter how hard a level is as it provides gameplay solutions to both casual and competitive gamers alike, so it's really a good pick up regardless of where you are in the player spectrum. Anyway guys, that's another edition of Is It Worth Buying and if you love this video, please make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more gaming content like this one. Now on behalf of Eeps Hideout, this has been Pal, thanking y'all for watching, now signing off.